It's a beautiful day. We're excited. We're happy. We're alive. It's another edition of your wonderful sports show. Let's get into the details of the headlines for today. Join us. Saka inspires Arsenal, of course, as they continue to target a top four after another resounding win over Southampton. Well, Thomas Tuchel, the new manager at Chelsea, won talent at the club. And Paris Saint-Germain, the PSG side, while remaining talks with Tottenham Hotspur to sign Dele Ali on loan. Mikel Ateta, the Arsenal boss, has dedicated the Southampton win to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Antonio Conte says a shy Eriksen will stay at Inter Milan. Phil Foden makes 100th Manchester City appearance. Is Edison Cavani helping Mason Greenwood in a tough second season at Manchester United? Well, the fans seem to think so. I don't think Frank Lampard wants to speak to me the words of Jose Mourinho for the winner exit of Frank Lampard from Chelsea. Pep Guardiola says all managers fear the sack after Chelsea sack Frank Lampard. Frank Lampard has now penned an emotional letter to the Chelsea hierarchy. And of course the world has reacted to the exit of uh, old Johnny Gallo from Manchester United. It's been an honour I will forever cherish. Oh, Johnny Gallo beats farewell to Manchester United. Nicolas Pepe deserved his chance as he, of course, has taken it. Mikel Arteta, the Arsenal manager, is happy with his performance after Arsenal's comeback 3-1 win away at Southampton. Ike Gunawan says Jao can is something different to offer to Man City. We are fully behind you, the Chelsea fans, back for us to go. Oscar, the former Chelsea midfielder, says, I would like to return to Chelsea one day, very soon. There's been talk about Jack Grealish making the move to Chelsea, and according to reports in England, they reveal now that Chelsea, under their new manager, could be looking for a more creative player with uh, Jack Grealish, the England international, number one on top of their priority. There's been a shift, according to report from Declan Rice, who was highly sought after by Frank Lampard and after his exit, it's been, now th- it's been thought that Chelsea have had a shift on that ground and Jack Grealish is now number one on their priority and boss Thomas Tuchel will be giving his back in to that front. Not Obama Young, but Arsenal OK is hit his three points with Summers Party and Nicolas Pepe and also Bukayo Saka coming to the party. And it's a five, five-star performance for Manchester City as they thrash West Bromwich Albion by five goals to nothing. From goals coming from Iko Gunawan, Jao Cancelo, Ryan Sterling, and also, of course, Briad Maris. Two goals from Iko Gunawan, who's full of praise for the attitude, the general attitude of the Man City players, and also especially of Jao Cancelo, who he feels has given something different to Man City. After the win, manager Pep Guardiola was quite happy with his Man City side and also, of course, of the German midfielder who he has who has been full of praise for talking about Ilka Gunawan. Sin is a good man away from football, an amazing personality, a man he knows all too well, knows his family well and also knows his dad, knows his mom. There's a boy, of course, Ilka Gunawan, who also he shares a neighborhood with. And so he believes that every good thing right now happening to Ilka Gunawan is fully deserved. Well, Oscar, who is a former Chelsea midfielder, has revealed the reason why Kevin De Bruyne and Mohamed Salah have failed at Chelsea. He says for Kevin De Bruyne while at Chelsea, he was never uh, consistent in terms of getting the number of games to play and also staying away from injuries. But he says on the other hand, for Mohamed Salah, quite blistering in training, quite energetic very devastating but while playing at the pitch in the man in the main match he says of course that Mohamed Salah just never could click he was always shy and never really of course uh, stayed with a click while at Chelsea so some players thrive under the pressure others do not and maybe that's the scenario with Mohamed Salah he says while he was at Chelsea Oscar saying that the manager at Chelsea talking about uh, Jose Mourinho gave him the full confidence to go on to be the star that he eventually ended up being. And talking about uh, the Coppa Italia in Italy, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is sorry for the red card after the Lukaku spot. The words of the manager Pioli. Well, AC Milan were knocked out of the Coppa Italia at the quarter-final stage by uh, Inter Milan, their eternal rivals. After, of course, coming from behind to beat them by two goals to one. 
AC Milan had taken the lead in that encounter, so it was Latan Ibrahimovic. But of course, Lukaku then equalized from the penalty spot in the 97th minute. Winner coming from Christian Eriksen from a free kick. After the game, we saw Zlatan Ibrahimovic get a red card in that encounter. The manager, Pioli, has come out to issue an apology on behalf of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The report emanating from Italy indicated that uh, right at halftime, both players squared up against each other with, uh, you know, the teammates of Lukaku holding him back. Of course, visibly annoyed and triggered by some of the words uh, from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. According to the report, Zlatan had called Lukaku a big donkey several times and also of course both players having a go at each other's mothers. And after the encounter, of course, uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic claimed not happy with the result and of course Pioli saying he's truly sorry. But it means right now that Inter Milan cuts of that 2-1 win over East Milan. Move up now to the next round of the Coppa Italia where they will face the winner between Juventus or Spau. And oh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, well, he has now said Diallo could fix United's right wing woes. There's so much talk as regards who plays on the right wing. With in the last few days, in the last few weeks, the manager at Manchester United, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, put in Marcus Rashford on the right and then put in Rash Marshall on the left. And of course, which has created more space right now for Edison Cavani. In the last game against Liverpool in the English FA Cup, he's placed that Mason Greenwood right there on the right-hand side. But it looks as though Diallo and how he's played could just fit perfectly well for Manchester United. Just as Bruno Fernandes says that it's a big squad and everyone will get the opportunity to play, especially as regards Donny van der Beek kicking on the door to have more starts at Old Trafford. And look at the play, of course, from United against Liverpool that ensure that United beat them by three goals to two with Donny van der Beek playing his own part and uh, Bruno Fernandes coming off the bench. He then realized, of course, that the Portuguese has a point on that front. All right, look at the result from the English Premier League. So Crystal Palace losing at home to Western United by two goals to three and Thomas the Shack scoring twice in that encounter to give Western United, of course, another win under David Moyes and moved them into the top four of the English Premier League. Newcastle United lost at home to Leeds United by one goal to two and that means there's more pressure for their manager Steve Bruce has now gone 11 games without victory in the English Premier League. Southampton, as you know, lost their home to Arsenal by one goal to three. The West Bromwich Albion, of course, more headache for them. And their manager Sam Allardyce is a beat for a relegation, losing their home to Man City by five goals to nothing. In the English FA Cup, Bournemouth beating Crawley Town by two goals to one. And away from that in England, to all the results from across Europe and Spain in the Copa del Rey, Levante with 40 winners were at Real Valladolid, Girona lost the home to Villarreal by one goal to nothing, and Real Betis after extra time with 3 1 winners over Real Sociedad. Inter Milan, 2 1 winners over AC Milan, and of course, it means that Inter moved to the next round to the semi final of the Coppa Italia. Well, that's it for today. We love you guys so much. Bye for now.